The best investment property is the one that you forget you own. Hi, it's Ray here from Switch Finance and I have great pleasure in introducing Nathan from Red Gum Property Management. G'day Nathan and welcome. Thanks Ray. It's great to be here today with you mate and um, give you a little bit of information today about property management and how awesome. you can forget that you actually own an investment property. I know it's a, it's a funny tagline that but I suppose I work with a lot of property investors and, and multi-property investors and I, I often say that to them, um, you know, some people they get uh, overwhelmed or, or they want to have an investment property that's close to them so they can keep an eye on it. Mm. I think, really? Mm. I said, the best investment property I own is the one I forget I own. That means yep. it's being managed for me and yep. I have no stress. It that's, almost yeah. works passively in the background. That's so true what, what Ray is saying there. You really, when you've got an investment, you don't want to have to worry about it every day. You want someone on your side in your team that you feel comfortable to talk to, someone that you can trust, someone that's got your best interests at heart and is gonna look after your property, communicate well with you, and also be very cost effective as well because it is a long-term relationship, let's face it. You'll have that property yeah. for 10 plus years. You, you want You should there. do anyway, otherwise you shouldn't be buying it. It's so important, it's a very, uh, it's a big investment, it's a very big investment, and you need someone to look after it. You don't want the property damaged, no. Uh, you want your tenants screened properly. That's right. Um, yeah. And you want inspections done. That, that's you know one of my pet hates is when someone vacates one of your investment properties and, and the thing's in a mess because mm -hmm. they haven't done their periodical inspections. And yep. uh, to be honest, me personally, yep. I don't even want to hear from you. Yep. As long as you're looking after it, that's fantastic. Yeah, that, that's that's right. success to me. Yeah. So that's a really good point, uh, Ray. Basically, the journey of finding a tenant starts with good advertising. You really need to put your best foot forward by doing fantastic advertising, which is great professional photos, 3D tour of the place, drone footage and an interview in there, so you're attracting good tenants. And then it's my job as the property manager to make sure we get the best tenants. And by best, we want someone who's gonna look after your place, yep. someone who's gonna let us know what happens. Pay the rent on time. <laughs> pay the rent on time, exactly. Yeah. Because essentially, it's your biggest investment and 100%. you want someone living in there who's gonna look after your investment. So that's the whole journey. Yeah. Perfect. And um, do you arrange the video tours yourself and do that mm. for the clients? Well, yes, we do, actually. At Redgum, we manage everything for you, which is fantastic. We have a fantastic service, actually. and. Just as a bit of a segue there, that kind of leads us into the cost analysis of how much it costs yeah, for a property Yeah, I was manager. about to ask you that question. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone wants to yeah. know how, mu how much is this going to yeah, cost exactly. us? Yeah, exactly. Because advertising, it, it's not cheap to get a professional photographer in, professional videographer to do all this fantastic material that makes you a cut above the rest. But at Red Gum, we charge a flat rate of 5% and that actually includes the advertising, it includes um, letting uh, fees. Oh, that's your ongoing management fee, 5%. Yeah, exactly. That's so, cheap. So it's really important, I think. For... Hang on a minute, is that all you charge? Yes, it is, oh, yeah. That is, that is pretty yeah. cheap, because I, mm. I know the going rate for most agents out there is uh, around seven or seven and a half percent mm. plus GST. Is yours yep. five plus GST? No, it's just 5%. Inclusive GST? Yes. Yeah, at the oh moment, God. yeah. So you must be busy. I, I am actually, yeah. yeah. But we're always happy to look into forming new relationships with new investors. Awesome. Uh, but what I did want to say is I think whoever you go with, I think it's important for people to really understand what they're spending for their property management. Because it, it, like we were talking earlier, it's a long-term expense. Yeah. You know, you, there's a, a thing called a Form 6 in Queensland and yeah. it states all the different fees. So a management fee, a lot of the times, is just the tip of the iceberg. You'll have yeah. a letting fee, an advertising fee, an admin fee, end of year financial statement fees, yeah. and all that stuff adds up over a year or two. So when you're looking for your property manager, you wanna make sure that that investment that you're making is not um, detracted too much by the expenses that you're paying out. Yeah. Because essentially, the fees can mean the difference between positive and negative cash flow out of your yeah. investment property. 100%. Mm. And um, yeah, because uh, admin fee was funny. I, I used to get charged $5.50 a month postage and pennies. And they used to email me the statement. I said, you're not posting anything. Why am I paying this? So oh, no. you don't charge an admin no. fee or postage no, and pennies. No. Um, because everything's electronically exactly. done online. I have three investment properties myself and I found it frustrating 
that I didn't know what I was being charged. I felt like it wasn't necessary, sundries and administration. Essentially, those are a click of a button in a program. So I, I don't feel like it's adding value to people to yeah. charge for something that is so easy for me to do. So I, I, as a property investor myself, I try and think of my customers in the same light and give them what I would expect. Well, it's good that you are a property investor because you can at least empathise with other property investors. So mm. you talk the talk and walk the walk. That's very yes. important. Do you guys pay the rent to the, the owner monthly or fortnightly? How does that work? That's another very good question, right? A lot of these questions are, are questions we often get from uh, potential clients. We at property at Red Gun Property Management, we pay it um, daily. So Oh wow. Yeah, so whenever the money comes into our trust account, we check the balance each morning and pay out the rent of what's in the account. That's very to the very good because um, you know, especially with rising interest rates, investors mm. are paying more in loan repayments. And that I suppose brings me to my next question. Mm. Um, in this current market where people's loan repayments are going up, yep. uh, I suppose when the lease comes close to expiry, mm. do you guys do a, another market appraisal to see if there's scope mm. to increase the rent? Now, I'm not saying this in a nasty way where you know mm. you want to make the tenants pay more, but at the end of the day, yep. uh, you can't afford to keep the rent the way it is when you're repayments have doubled in the last 12 months? That's another fantastic question, Ray. Um, look, if, if your rental property, um, you've had it for a few years and the rent hasn't increased, then that, that's the problem. That Essentially, the, market, the rental market is moving very quickly all the time. So you really need to be getting a rental appraisal from your property manager every time there's a lease renewal yeah. and to discuss with your property manager what you want to do. And you know, you can also look at the tenant and, you know, work with them on, on what you know what you think is, is achievable yeah. and um, definitely put, put forward a rental appraisal and that's an interesting segue into um, it's another another variable there is that if the rent is going up that'll actually increase your capacity to potentially buy another investment property uh, in you, the future. Now you're thinking like a finance broker. <laughs> yes um, because the, as the rent's going up you've got more capacity more servicing correct. capacity and then you can come to someone like Ray who does a fantastic job. I actually have some of my properties managed by Ray and he's helped me out in many many ways. Great easy to talk to really knows what paid, he's doing. I haven't paid him for this by the way. Um, but yeah, thanks But it's for that. true and, and so when the rent goes up and you've got a secure property, it's being managed by someone that you yeah. can communicate with. It, it allows you to refocus on your future and what you can do to build your investment portfolio. Absolutely. And mm. um, just uh, for our viewers, what areas um, do you do? Are you mm. restricted to certain areas? Well, we operate from a hub in Southport, yep. which means we, we can we do anywhere within an hour's drive. So we go as far as North Lakes, uh, north of Brisbane. Yeah. And uh, we go out to Ipswich and down to Byron Bay and the Mullumbimby area as well. So quite awesome. a large area that we do service. And we're happy to provide information to anyone in those areas if they have information they'd like to know about property management generally. Yep, that's great. So uh, I will be um, adding Red Gun Property Management to our uh, referral partners page on our website but uh, yeah just google red gum property management and get in touch with Nathan um, fantastic rates for mm. property management at five percent including GST yeah. uh, I don't know how long you can sustain that for that's pretty good mm. uh, but yeah reach out if you need any help thanks guys thank you very much Ray cheers mate